DJ ATV. Others cannot attend the PDP National Convention caught in a do to Dan Obi. This is still DJM TV Daily News update. Following the crisis that has been rocking the People's Democratic Party in a do state and the purported suspension of Dan Obi, the Vice President of the People's Democratic Party South South Zone, the Edo State High Court in Benin City has stopped the National Vice Chairman South South of the People's Democratic Party, Shidan Obi, and the State Secretary of the Party, Ilari Otsu, and eight others from participating in the forthcoming convention of the People's Democratic Party, which is billed to hold on the 30th and 31st of October 2021. In a court hearing given by Justice Joy Okeaya in a a motion Esparte was filed by Chief Idea Manfred Ekudayo and Mr. Stanley Iduozo and Odio Omademi, who were the claimant in the suit titled B-218-OS-2021. slash 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 The court had also listed that Vincent Ekwohoriri Umoru, Honorable Samuel Saiki, Leslie Egozoje, David Oko Agwaidia, also known as Arizona, and Abdul Karim Kasim as a defendant in the suit. Others who were listed were Kayode Ogunube, Morege Ogbedia Ihema, the House of Representative member representing Oredo Federal Constituency, Mr. Oduwa Iguinusu, Mr. Friday Enaruna, and also the suit excluded the leadership of the People's Democratic Party. Justice Okeaya in a while giving a restraining order to our defense to 11 defenders from attending, participating or voting at the National Convention of the People's Democratic Party to elect members of its National Working Committee or any other governing body during the convention bill to hold on the 30th and 31st of October 2021 pending the hearing and determination of the motion on notice. The court sitting in Benin City had also granted an order of interim injunction directing the People's Democratic Party, its servants, officers, agents and otherwise whosoever to deny admittance to the first to 11 defendants being the person of Dan Obi and others at the convention pending the hearing and determination of the motion on notice. Also, according to the enrollment of the order of the court, Justice Okeaya granted leave to the claimant to serve the concurrent originating summons on the People's Democratic Party outside the jurisdiction of the court at the Federal Capital Territory, namely the national headquarters of the People's Democratic Party at Plot 1970 Michael Quara Street, Wadata Plaza, Wuse, Zone 5, Abuja. The court also granted that the applicant to serve the originating summon and all other accompanying process in the suit to Chidan Obi and others mentioned in the suit to wit by advertisement in a national newspaper. The court had earlier cited that the pressing issues that were raised in the processes before the court and ordered an accelerated hearing of the motion on notice while the court directed that the bailiff of the court should effect service as a matter of urgency to all the processes in the suit on the first to 11 defendant. Justice Okeaya in there therefore adjourned the hearing of the suit to November 2nd, 2021. So there you have it guys. 
the internal crisis in the People's Democratic Party at those state chapters seem to be deepening as a lot of accusing fingers have been pointed at the governor of Edo State, Governor Godwin Obaseki. A lot of persons have said that this trouble started since when Governor Godwin Obaseki joined the People's Democratic Party. The crisis in the People's Democratic Party in Edo State is over the choice of Board of Trustees member and it has caused a lot of problem. A lot of persons have said that the governor is the one instigating the whole problem as the development has pitched him against some party shifters in the state. Some PDP leaders have said that, uh, you know, they are suspended or be uh, Obedia Yama Otsu and two other persons from the party. But the leadership of the party in Edo State had come up to say that there, uh, nobody had the right to suspend, uh, you know, uh, Dan Obi and the other persons from the party. Only the national head had that power. Now, some persons are saying, why is it that Governor Godwin Obaseki is bent on ensuring that the major key holders and the major stakeholders and shiftings in the People's Democratic Party in Edo State are being silenced? He says something he wants. I to be recalled that uh, we did report to you in one of our news that the governor called a meeting of the People's Democratic Party shiftings at his office in the government house. A lot of persons fought at that particular meeting and said that the governor is not the chairman of the party and as such, uh, you know, party meetings are not supposed to hold in his house. A lot of persons are saying that the governor is only looking for a way to destroy the People's Democratic Party completely so that the All Progressive Congress can take over come uh, September 2024. Although some persons are of the opinion that, you know, placing a restraining order on Dan Obi, Obedi Ayama, a member of the House of Representatives, was going too far. They also said that the persons that filed the case at court were not supposed to do that. That's like rebelling against leadership in the party. And a lot of persons have said that it is not acceptable in the party. Well, a survey around Edo State showed that some persons are beginning to say that they are now realizing the reason why the former All Progressive Congress National Chairman, Comrade Adams Oshomole, did not want Governor Godwin Obaseki to win the second tenor in September 2020 election that held in the state. A lot of persons are saying if they had only known that Governor God, Godwin Obaseki would not be as effective as he was in his first tenor, they would not have voted for him. This is still DJN TV Daily News update. So guys, what are your thoughts and comments concerning these issues we just raised? Do you think the court has the right to stop a person from participating in a party convention just because uh, somebody filed a case in court? Do you think that Dan Obi and others will not attend the PDP National Convention coming up on the 30th and 31st of October 2021? Drop your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for staying with us till the very end of this video. Do not forget to go a step further if you've not done so. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Also, do not forget to like and share this video. Do follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and also check out our website at www.djmtv.net. Guess what, guys? From the 1st of August 2021, DJMTV offers you an opportunity to report your events from where you are on our channel. We call it Report Yourself to the World. You want to be a part of this great program? Then please click on our bow, send us a message, and we'll give you details on how to report yourself to the world. They are coming away again with another exciting edition of DJM TV Daily News Update. I remain your host, Laburu Faith.
DJ ATV. DJ ATV. Some of the delegates are at this request. DJ ATV. Thank you.